Hello everyone, welcome back to more Autonauts. Alright, so offline, at the end of the last episode, I finished out the berry farm. It's about the max size that we could do. Got a lot of berries. I realize we probably need two or three bots just to hit these berries. Because they hit it so incredibly slow, and then the stick breaks after about four to five bushes, that we need like a fleet of bots getting berries right now. I don't think that's our priority though. Like, we can just have these slowly gathering berries and stacking them in the storage crates. So for now, let's actually look at the mushroom plan. See what that's all about. Mushroom patch. Start lesson, click the booger punch button to access the database. Select foods, see where mushrooms come from. Surprise, you dig them up. Shovel plus mushrooms, all right. And, wait, do we have a plan with that? There you go. Pin it. Mushrooms dug two. Mushrooms planted zero out of 20. Loose mushrooms stored. So how do we plant them? So we got mushrooms here. Let's just test. I'm assuming it's dirt. But let's just test. It is. Wait, is it? No, it's not. Oh, we probably need a hole, right? Put it in the hole. Well, if that's the case, let's... If that's the case, let's do a mushroom farm right here. We actually have mushrooms here. Clay deposits, actually. So let's do mushrooms. Let's do mushrooms down here. Yeah, let's do that. We have our bots right here. Actually, I need a shovel. God, this, this rock bot. The stone collector. Keeps dying. Let's go dig up these mu er, these berry bushes just to clear this area out. And then we will get our turf and hole and turf collector going. Turf digger, turf collector, and our hole digger going. And then we will make a giant mushroom farm. Come on. There we go. At least the mushrooms take a shovel to dig up. Which means that it'll last a lot longer for the robots, as opposed to a stick, which, again, breaks in, like, four to five whacks on a bush. So let's do this. The only thing is, I'm confused on how mushrooms multiply. Because it seems like once you dig them up once, that's it. But maybe it's like you plant it once, and you dig it up, and, like, two come out of it? We'll have to test. Come on. All right, let's pick all these up. And you know what? Let's just toss them in the crate. Oh no, we got too many. In the crate, in the crate, in the crate. Look at this, we can barely even get through these bushes. We probably should have did every other row with this, but. I like the look of it, just a solid berry farm. Wait, why are there berries just sitting on the ground? What's going on here? on here there you go all right so let's take these we need the hold we need turf digger first hey mr turf digger i need you your new area is gonna be how much space should we have in between that's one how about three? Oh, let's uncover this area What is that? Cotton. Nice. All right, let's delete that. So we are gonna do three spaces. So one, two, no, wait. That's one space, two space, three space, and then this area, and then let's shrink it. Shrink it in one there, and in one there. Wait. Oh, it was already the size. Never mind. Crap. Let's let's line this back up. There we go. So that's one, two, three, and then that's where the mushrooms go. Yeah, that'll work, I think. And go forth. Dig. And then let's actually clear out this bush as well because this is going to be in the way and so is this one 
So that turf's gonna take a while to dig. But at least we'll get started. We're gonna need charger bots actually. Because otherwise we're just gonna be babysitting this as well and that's not good. What is this, a sheep? Is this a sheep? Ah! So why is this called a sheep? But then these are called chooks. Why can't they call those chickens? I don't get it. All right, let's get the hole digger. That's you, sir. And then it should be what? One, two, three, and that. Go forth. And then same with the soil or the turf collector. You would be this area, I believe. One, two, three, yeah. There you go. So let's actually just help out with, actually no, let's go get mushrooms. Let's see how this works. Get two mushrooms. Yeah. Plant them. How do you plant them? Right click. All right. Plant one here. Question is, what happens with them afterwards? Mushrooms growing. Mushrooms? So let's see. If I dig up this mushroom, do I get two out of it? That'd be the only thing that makes sense, is you get two for every one. Yep, two for every one. Okay, that makes sense. So this, we definitely need a permanent mushroom planter at that point. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Oh, you get like three. Nice, even better. Come on, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Don't sit in the hole. Weirdo. All right, you know what? I am going to get charger bots. We are going to make a nice... I think I'm going to do charger bots, and then I'm going to make a nice row of trees in here instead of this every other thing going on. Let's see. So let's make some charger bots. Need tons of logs. See, one pole, one seed, and some plants. Actually, let's get three seeds out of here. Might want to expand this as well. That works. And how many planks? Three. Okay. Two, three. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna have this be a charger bot. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Wrong button! Charger bot mushroom. Hmm. How about mushroom charger? I think I'm gonna start grouping the charger bots with whatever team they're with, whatever team they're helping the patrol. That might be the best, just so I can keep track of where, the, where they all are. All right, so you move down here, find the bot. There we go. Loop it. Forever find nearest bot in this max area. There we go. Go! Alright, I kind of want to fix this real quick. Let's see, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? So we got Hole Digger Bot. Let's just stop him. And what else do we have? Tree Chopping Bot. Cranker Bot. Cranker Bot's fine. Tree Seed Collector Bot's fine. Okay, crank away. Oh, that's seed planter. Okay. Seed planter is going to be fine as well. Oh, come on. So it's basically all about the tree chopping bot and the... Is that it? The chopping bot? Oh, and then the hole digger after that. Okay. So tree chopping bot is fine. That bot can do this entire... Hmm. 
actually what happens is it depends on the hole digger bot first, right? Hole digger bot, you need to patrol a certain area. We're gonna do vertical stripes. And if we do vertical stripes, we're gonna have to bring this in one. Let's see, is that gonna work? No, because that can still come out one. So now we need to go one up. Yeah, that's perfect. So let's do this right there. And hit go. So let's see, it's this row. Okay, so it's every other row there. So I am gonna clean up these stumps and we will be right back. All right, little progress update. So currently what I did is I'm trying to do, what is this, five, six rows of trees. So instead of doing a heavily like structured area like the berry bushes are where everything's really cram packed, I'm gonna do just horizontal rows here, or vertical rows here, just so that way I can kind of visually see what's going on and that way I'm not walking through trees. Um, because of that, our storage is all full, so I had to put a separate storage over here for logs. So now my log collector, what he does, he'll find the log as normal. He'll look to see if this is full. If this is full, he will then just instead move to this storage and dump it in here. There's a little bit, not redundancy, but even when he puts a log in that first storage, he would still try to do it in the second storage, but I don't think that's really a big deal. So we should be good on that. But yeah, I'm working on clearing the rest of this out and I will be back when that is all done. All right, so I got the tree farm situated. We got six solid vertical, vertical columns of trees right now. It looks like my bots can't even keep up with it. They're basically only planting these first two rows. So it might be something to where every set of tree choppers and collectors and seed planters, maybe they can only handle two rows at a time. So for this, I would need like three different teams, it seems like, because they can't even make it to these four by the time like these trees start growing and then they come back here and start chopping all this up again. And then while I was doing that, let's see, I had to build another set of stick storage just to clear out this area. And then they finished down here. Perfect timing. I think he just finished digging this. I think there still needs to be holes here, but for the most part, this looks like it's pretty much well to go. So I'm going to take all these mushrooms that were just laying around and come down here and plant them. Actually, what we'll do is let's build storage. Let's build three storage right here, right next to the poles and the planks, so it's really easy to get to. And then we'll just move all the storage around, picking up these mushrooms, and then once they're full, we'll just move them down there next to the mushroom farm. Seems like the easiest way to handle it. As opposed to grabbing four mushrooms, walk all the way down, rinse, repeat, like ten times. This should be way quicker. All right, one more set. I am really hoping there's better storage than this because I could easily see me having just stacks and stacks of logs and planks and sticks and seeds. And there doesn't seem like a really good method of storing stuff right now. I guess I could look in the blueprints and see what's locked. Maybe with colonization, some stuff will unlock. And we're about to get to that once we do all this mushroom stuff. Three, four. We're almost there. Yeah, we're actually almost there. Two, three, four. And then hopefully we can move the whole stack at once. That'd be great. Okay, let's see if we can move it. Nice. Let's move this right here. Cool, that part's done. So I think the rest is planting mushrooms and then digging some mushrooms. All right, so let's move this once again. 
Still gotta get used to the keybinds. I always said spacebar thinking it's like center camera on my character when it's not. So that's not helpful. Let's do storage right there. And I guess let's start planting mushrooms. Actually, let's build a robot to do that. Wait, what's going on here? Where's the turf collector? Uh, what? Turf collector? Where are you? Turf collector. Oh, I just had the same problem with the log collector. So what's happening is because this isn't full, it's now getting stuck moving here. So what we actually have to do is edit this a bit. So let's see. Let's pause that. Stop it. Record it. Let's see. Until hands are f until this storage is full, I want you to find the nearest turf, move to it, pick it up, and then move to storage and add to storage. Ooh, that's a little difficult. We don't have enough memory in the bot's brain. You know what? Let's just delete this for now. And we'll just have to deal with that. That is empty. I guess we can just manually load balance this over. But yeah, we'll just have to manually do this. We need more memory in our bots. Are there bot upgrades? I'm pretty sure there are. There we go. So now he's got 100 free space to take care of that. And let's start... No, not plant mushrooms. Let's get... So these... Three are all done. Let's see. So you're gonna come to me. And same with you. You're gonna come to me. And same with you. You're gonna come to me. Your work here is done, fellas. So we got mushrooms there. So we need a bot. Let's take this turf. Fill in this hole. That's gonna bug me. Oh no, he died! Where's our cranker bot? What's he doing? Alright, so we need a bot that's gonna handle picking up mushrooms and planting mushrooms. And another one that's gonna dig them. Ugh. So we need three more robots. So, let's get that built. Man, this stone collector. I've charged him at least 30 times. I don't need poles. Why do I keep taking poles? There you go. Three planks. And a big old log. And we'll just crank this up and we'll just move it out of the way for now. Okay, we're going to need one more seed over here for the third bot. Let's see, let's see. And three planks. So that can be the mushroom digger. You come off there. Good enough. Need one seed. And we got a pole right here. And log. Alright, so we got mushroom digger, mushroom planter. Now we need the mushroom collector. And then that should take care of our mushroom farm. Although, I don't know if they're going to be able to keep up with this either. That's going to be a little difficult. Too many holes. Maybe we went overboard on doing a full grid. Alright, so we got... Mushroom Digger. So, you're going to follow me. We're going to pick up the shovel. And then we are going to go down here and dig a mushroom. Should be the easiest one to program. Oops. 
accidentally threw it down. Perfect. All right, so get rid of that drop ball. Get rid of find spade. So loop it and do another loop forever until hands are empty. Find nearest mushroom. Move to the mushroom. Use held items. When your hands are empty, go back and get a crude spade. Pick it up and we are good. And then let's do a transfer. Here's my shovel. Go forth. Dig. Oh, we are going to need a... Um, We're going to need the hole digger here still. Because it flattened out the earth. You know what we'll do? We'll do the hole digger. But I think we're going to do rows. Because I don't think the bots can keep up with how fast these are going to grow. In this, what is it? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 121 spaces if this is 11 by 11. So I think we're going to do a either vertical or horizontal rows just to space it out. Find nearest my... Oh, got to edit the space. Max area. There we go. All right, so now let's select the... Oh, we got to do some organizing here. Select the hole digger. Let's see. Mushroom hole dig... Not dogger, digger. And record. And we are going to select the area to be vertical stripes. Perfect. Done. And play it out. All right, all right. So that's good. So now we got a turf digger spared and we have a turf collector. Mushroom bot charger. Oh, we need the bot charger. Crap. You got to keep going, man. Let's record. Let's move this a little. Move it up. Perfect. All right. So now we need a mushroom collector. Mushroom collector. Record me. We're going to find the mushroom. Pick it up. And throw it in the crate. Is that... Wait. Why do I feel like this thing... There we go. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Loop it. So forever. Find nearest mushroom. Move to it. Pick it up. We're gonna do that until your hands are full. And then you're gonna move to the storage. And until your hands are empty, you're gonna empty your storage. Perfect. Go forth. Let's see, are you good? Let's see if he goes, collects four of them, drops them off. What's going on here? Oh, we got every other one. That's why there's no hole there. Okay, perfect. And now we need the mushroom planter. Mushroom planter. Start. So what you're going to do, grab a mushroom out of here. And you are going to... Ooh, I don't know what it... You know what? It doesn't matter because it's just going to be find hole in an area. And we are going to change that. Max area. Shrink it a bit. And do vertical stripes. And then loop it forever. Move to mushroom storage. Take find there's hole. Move dot hole. Use item. Perfect. Alrighty. So eventually over time, this should get rid of the holes. Oh wait, I can have this just be... Yeah, I can have this just be every hole. Oh, cool. We finished the farming. Nice. Ooh, mushroom hat. Ooh, slabs growing. All right, let's edit this. Let's have it be every hole. Because then the hole digger, he's only going to end up filling in every other. So that should be fine. Because then eventually there just won't be holes there. So what else do we have? We got mushroom charger. That's fine. 
Old digger. Mushroom collector. Whoa, mushroom collector. What are you doing? Max area. There we go. And then, what is this guy? What is this guy? Mushroom digger. Are you in the max area? You are. Okay, you're good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we are done with that as well. Let's see. Before we do the next plan, which is the colonization, let's do some cleanup here. Let's do, hmm, this is tough. This is tough. Maybe we don't. Maybe colonization will give us some people and we'll unlock more stuff. Because right now, our big hurdle is storage. Everything is just getting way too full. I kind of even want to shrink this. Because these these robots cannot keep up. They can only do these first two rows. First two columns, and then they get full up. Okay, this should be fine. Ooh. Maybe we need a charger bot separate over here? Oh my god, there's so much to clean up. I don't know where to start. I just don't know where to start. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're pretty stuck on storage right now. There's... Almost everything is full up in storage. And I don't want to just keep on making storage. I feel like something is going to unlock to let us have better storage options. So, we're going to tackle that in colonization on the next video. It seems like a shorter episode. Mostly we did a lot of stuff off camera in terms of cleaning up things and then getting our mushroom farm going but since we got that done we will tackle colonization next time so thanks for watching and i will see everyone in the next video